Hello there. So you damage your wheels. Naughty, 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 naughty. It happens to the best. Even I have curbed wheels at least once. Probably just once, but still counts. I'm filming this few weeks after I already fixed my wheels. However, I did manage to capture the clips of how I was fixing them. So let's see how my wheels look now. I'm gonna start from the first wheel I did, which is gonna be the worst one, because that was the first one. After each wheel, I kept getting a little bit better. And it's really not that hard, though I have to warn you, it's really time consuming. Let's look at my worst wheel. Ta da! It doesn't look bad at all, does it? I did apply filler, but as you can see, in some places it wasn't enough. Or I was just lazy to sand it properly. It's probably both of them. But yeah, as you can see, all in all, now and before, it's like day and night. Wheel number two? I mean, they are not clean now, but all the carbing was around here. You can you can still see some marks, but it's like, come on. If I wouldn't show you, you probably wouldn't even know. Uh, third wheel, once again, don't think there's enough filler. Still nice, if you ask me. And the last wheel. Last and the best, I have to say. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> the brand new, these wheels would have been around uh, 1,200 or something with tires. Maybe 1,000. Not entirely sure. I picked this up for 500. I didn't really see that the curbing was that bad in the pictures. So I drove like two hours. I still bought them because I didn't have a choice. Nobody is selling them, especially for this car. And this is perfect fitment, like spot on. No spaces. I had to get them. So I did. And I fixed them. The only kind of issue was it was hard to color match these wheels. And the color code is like, there's no color code. It's just gun metal, metallic, whatever. So how am I supposed to know? I just took a picture of the wheels, went to Halfords and tried to find a similar color. But I think it really worked out perfectly. It might not be 100% the same color, but you can't even tell. Can you? Only the outside was sprayed and the inside is original. So. Like I said, it's not perfect, but 500 pounds wheels, some filler for 10 pounds, paint spray can was 12 pounds, and then some clear coat for another 10 pounds. So, just over 30 pounds, and we fixed the wheels. But I have to say, one wheel with filler and sanding, and not even perfect sanding. Took me around like I have to say 40 50 minutes in total. The spray painting was uh, the quickest thing, it's the sanding. Of course, I used my hands. Uh, if you have a machine, it's probably gonna drop down to 15 minutes from 50 minutes to do one wheel. But for me, I had to hand sand, and it's not perfect, but looks great if you ask me if you keep some distance between yourself and the car they look perfect and that's what we're aiming for because the car is not perfect itself but from a bit of distance it is <laughs> Ooh, this is my next project my first time 
trying to fix body paint. Clear coat. I think this is clear coat. Some random scratches. That's what I'm fixing next, maybe? We'll see. We'll see. I hope I showed you enough of the process. I have to fix your wheels with 20 pounds or so. So, be brave and try to do it yourself. If you fail, at least you tried. And that's what matters. I hope you have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bro's playing GTA again. You like my location? Ooh. What? No. Are you serious right now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Get a room, bro. <clears throat> Probably was too late to see them. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Oh, this This is wild. I uh, better get going. <laughs> I don't like this place anymore. <laughs> Let's go home. Wait, listen to this. Oh! <laughs>